It's uh, seven minutes before the hour. So listen to this one. Tipping back a few cocktails now has some serious legal repercussions for the mayor of Sunland Park, New Mexico. And there he is. He says he was drunk when he signed contracts with an architectural firm. That firm is now suing for $1 million. So does the mayor have a case saying the contracts are not valid? The happy hour defense. That's our producer through my ear. Our legal eagle is sobered up for this one. Please, they're always sober. <laughs> Joining us now are Rachel Kugel, Kugel excuse me, and criminal defense attorney Masa Saidi. Did I pronounce it right? You pronounce it perfectly. Perfect. Yes. Former prosecutor. Former prosecutor. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so. The happy hour defense. He's, this guy said, the mayor says he was drunk, he was out, they were at a restaurant. He and another guy from the city, they were, you know, tipping back a few cocktails, as we said. And one thing leads to another, they signed some paperwork. Is it valid? Um, well, it depends on what I'm about to explain right now. Well, the first thing I want to say is, who do you find more credible? The mayor who's allegedly drunk contracting by his own words, <laughs> or the firm and the execs who say, hey, this guy signed it at City Hall when he was completely sober. But let's play along for a second. The issue is, does having a glass or two of wine with dinner make this contract that he entered into unenforceable because he lacked the legal capacity to enter into it? And that's a yes only if he was so drunk, so completely intoxicated, that he didn't understand the legal consequences of signing not one, but nine big stacks of paper while at a meeting with, yeah. these, with these executives where the whole purpose, you got to assume, yeah. is to close this deal, right? Synthesis, yeah. which is the, the architectural firm, Synthesis Plus, uh, they say the mayor signed, as you said, the documents in City Hall, right. at Sunland Park City Hall. So I was saying, well, wouldn't there be right. you know, video cameras? I'm wouldn't there be like it. the city clerk? Right. You, you got to keep in mind, and I do a lot of court cases all over two states, including lots of small towns. Most of these towns, you can hitch your horse outside. So I'm going <laughs> to doubt, doubt that there's any kind of you know, video cameras going on or anything like that. The reality is, the legal question is, a, was he drunk, and B, the people around him that were having him sign these contracts, did they know or should have known that he was drunk? That's the question. That's the hard part to prove. It's actually not that uncommon, particularly in entertainment contra uh, context. People sign contracts over drinks all the time in the entertainment industry. But how often do they come back and say, well, wait, I was wasted. We can't, we can't, uh, these contracts are invalid. Yeah, the famous blame it on the alcohol, the right. fans, after that hit song. <laughs> but, um, you know, it just depends. The court's going to look at all the objective indicators surrounding the case. They're going to look at specifically what I think is a really important issue is how long did he wait before trying to annul the contract, before saying, hey, I was so wasted that I should not take personal responsibility for my Actions. I think that's an important issue, along with the fact that, you know, it was written down, he was with these execs. I mean, I think to me, everything points to that this contract is going to stand. It's going to stand. You agree, Rachel? You know, I'm not so sure. I think if they took him out, got him liquored up, and then had him sign We're some contracts, <laughs> they, might be, they might be in trouble. It's, it's a risk that a business person takes if they, if they want to do business over drinks, which is not that uncommon. I wonder, yeah, exactly. It's not that uncommon. Right. I wonder how often this actually happens. But yeah. they're, they're too embarrassed to say, okay, I think it happens a lot. so sorry, we really, you know, blew yeah. all your money, taxpayers. Sorry <laughs> about that. Well, we did reach out to the mayor, and he said, unfortunately, at this time, I cannot make any further comments. Ladies, thanks for joining me today. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a wonderful morning. All right, coming up, a heroic American soldier finally gets the Purple Heart he earned four years earlier. It's bad enough why, that it was late, but why did it come with a bill? We're going to tell you about this one. You're not going to believe it. Maybe you will. I don't know these days. And also, U.S. credit downgraded, of course, for the first time in history. Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner says it was just a mathematical error. Should he really be the one in charge? There's talk of replacing him. We'll see what uh, you folks have to say coming up.